Welcome dear children. We are about to start once again with our letter writing section, right? Mm. So this time I'm going to take you to a new topic that is letter of complaint, right? We have already completed one topic of letter to the editor, the second topic of letter to the concerned official or authorities and now the third topic that is letter of complaint. Now these are all varieties of formal letters. So sender's address, date, receiver's address, then um, salutation, sorry, before salutation we have the subject, salutation, then formal closing, then your name, everything will be followed. In all formal letters, the same pattern, the same format is followed. Only the language and the content will vary. Language and the content will vary. Here in this letter of complaint, you know, sometimes we receive wrong goods. Sometimes goods are not delivered on time. Sometimes defective goods are delivered. Sometimes we are not getting the right quantity of goods. Sometimes there is a shortage of goods. So all these situations or all these occasions always provoke us, always make us write a letter of complaint to the concerned organization or whoever, the company. So in this case, I am going to discuss the opening statements of letter of complaint the closing statements of letter of complaints and also I'm going to discuss the various occasions when we need to pen down letter of complaints. Now opening statements and closing statements and the occasions. So what are you going to do? You are also going to keep a pen and a notebook handy where you will make a note of all these points that I'm going to discuss with you. Later on, I will upload samples and you will compare the samples with the lecture and you will be thorough like this, All right? So here we go. So the first thing, letter of complaint, when they are written, they are written to bring the different mistakes to the notice of the suppliers. I have to bring a mistake to the notice of the supplier. So, letter of complaints are written to make the supplier aware that he has made a mistake somewhere. Right. Then, all official letters of complaint should contain formal language. It should be very polite even though you are bursting your top. You are very angry. You are not going to show your anger in your letter. Your letter language should be very polite, very cordial. Did you understand? Now we move on to the times or to the occasions when we need to write down the letter of complaint. First and foremost, when do I start? When do I have to write a letter of complaint? when there is a wrong delivery of the goods, right? The goods that I have ordered for has not come. So it is a wrong consignment. That time I need to write. Then late delivery of the goods, I need to write. Then defective goods, the goods are not at all. Okay, they are not perfect. They are defective, right? That time, Damaged goods, maybe when they had packed it, the goods were okay, means satisfactory. But on the way, maybe the things have got damaged. So that time, I'm, at the end, I have received the damaged uh, product. So I need to make a complaint or I need to write a complaint letter. Then, shortage of goods. I have ordered for 20 quantities for 20 numbers and only 10 have come. So in that case, I need to make a complaint or write a complaint letter. So misbehavior of an employee of the concerned party. 
I'm ordering something from, supposing, Oswald. And Oswald has not reverted back because when I made the complaint, the uh, company did not revert back politely that time. A wrong executive had replied to my complaint in a very wrong manner. Right? So that time I need to write the complaint letter. So what all the things I have just now told you? One is the late delivery, wrong consignment, defective goods, damaged goods, shortage of goods. And then we have also got the misbehavior of the employee. Now, what should a letter of complaint actually state? What should it say? Like everything will be there, but what should the content be? The complaint should state clearly, very clearly, the relevant details of the quality or the quantity of the goods that you have received. Right? And we should also mark it that we need to make a polite request for replacement of the goods, of the damaged goods, right? So the content should contain clearly what is your exact nature of the complaint, what has happened, right? Why you are wanting to complain, why you want to replace. And it should also politely ask, whether a replacement is possible or not. Right. Now I am moving on to the opening statements. I will be giving you a variety of statements. Right. If you are not able to make a note while I am lecturing, you can replay the video and note them down. Right. So keep your ears and eyes open and listen to me. First one, we are sorry to inform you that the goods supplied by you were not according to our order number, dated, whatever it is. First one, we are sorry to inform you that the goods supplied by you were not according to our order number, name, uh, sorry, number the order, one, two, three, four, whatever, dated, so and so. That date you'll have to put and the order number also you'll have to put. The second, uh, this thing, statement we can use. Either this one or this one. We are sorry to inform that the consignment received from you was not according to the order placed by us. Dated so and so, wide order number so and so. Right? The second one, we are sorry to inform you that the consignment received from you was not according to the order placed by us, dated so and so, order number so and so. Third option can be, we regret to state that, we regret to state about the unsatisfactory execution of our order. We regret to state about the unsatisfactory execution of our order, dated dash, order number dash. These two things you'll have to think of. So there are three options I have given you. Choose one as your opening statement of your complaint letter. The closing statement, we wish to send, we, we wish you to send us promptly the right quality or the quantity. We wish you to send us promptly the right quality, if it is quality you are complaining about or quantity if you are complaining about quantity of the order and make good the loss suffered by us. Did you understand? Quality or quantity, do not pick up both. And if the situation is both, then only you write both. Otherwise, whatever the situation is, according to the question, you choose, you see, and then you write the complaint properly. We wish you to send us Promptly the right quality if it is complaining against quality and if it is a complaint against quality, uh, quantity then you need to write promptly the right quantity of the order and make good the loss suffered by us. Right? The first option. Second option. May we expect that such mistakes will not be repeated in future? 
The second option, may we expect that such mistakes will not be repeated in future? The third option, would you be kind enough to replace the defective items at the earliest? So there are three options discussed. At the end, you'll conclude with looking forward to remain as your happy customer at all times. This is the concluding line, right? Thanking you, yours faithfully, name and yourself, your signature, sorry, your signature and your name. Yours faithfully, your signature, your name, right? So this is all for your understanding of a complaint letter. Now I will be uploading shortly an example of a complaint letter or maybe one or two examples and then you will follow that, tally with this lecture and then complete the assignment that is to be uploaded. Okay, have a nice day, take care of yourselves, love you all.